Hey guys, it's Tycrane here. In today's video, I'll be showing you how I upgraded my house to 10 gigabit ethernet. I am super excited about this because if you guys do not know, my house speed is 10 gigabit. However, there's a problem with it right now. There's some limitations. I'm using a 2.5 gigabit switch, so I can't take full advantage of the full speeds inside of my house. Now, when I go up to the internet, it only goes to 2.5, so I'm not really too worried about it. My big thing right now is that I'm actually getting a Ugreen NAS, so I'm gonna be setting that up on my 10 gigabit network. And I need to have the network set up first, so I thought I'd show you guys the process and how I did so with only $400. The first thing we're going to gonna need to upgrade our studio is a 10 gigabit switch from our 2.5 gigabit. So I got this one from uh, TP-Link, which is a five port, uh, 10 gigabit multi gig uh, bit. So this will be perfect. These are all managed, so we will be able to get the full speech of each five of these ports. So we'll have one for the actual internet and another four for just four devices we want to hook up the 10 gig. Now the nice thing about this is if we use this, we can actually take one of those extra 10 gigs, plug it in my 2.5 switch, and then place anything that doesn't have a pri high priority for bandwidth speed on the 2.5 switch. So that'll be pretty nice. So here is our grab. So this right here is my house. So this is the home. Of course, we have my PC, which I added a 10 gigabit network card because currently I had like a 2.5. So I upgraded that, which is big. If we don't have that, we won't be able to get the full speeds of our 10 gigabit ethernet. Now, what we need to do is make sure to have that 10 gigabit network card on a 10 gigabit switch, which we just bought. So we'll be able to plug in that, uh, was it the ethernet cable from this to the switch which has 10 gig support. Then from that, we'll be able to direct it to my server that has also 10 gigs on board. That way we have full 10 gigabit ethernet inside of the actual household, but which will be fantastic. Uh, and then the only thing here is that, of course, we got the one gig, or actually it was supposed to be 2.5, I'll fix that, 2.5 to the internet. Now I will be upgrading the internet speed to outside later 10 gig, because I will be hiring people for editing some stuff, but that's our current plan for the actual setup. So let's get into the unboxing first of this thing. Obviously my new setup for my cameras is so nice. So first of all, I bought like an HDMI switch that has this one right here, all my cameras are hooked up to it. So if I want to switch a camera, all I have to do is literally push a button. So I know three is my, uh, was it unboxing? camera so i can just do this just slap this on up here and unbox this tp link you guys should sponsor me for a video so we could do something stupid i don't know what stupid could be but it definitely would be a fun idea so luckily the process for this is gonna be really easy we're gonna unbox this thing and pull it on out and just in case you're wondering what we get with it too first of all the instruction guide which no one particularly cares about we got ourselves the actual uh 10 gigabit switch right here and of course this is a nice aluminum body like very sturdy not going to do anything we have a 12 volt for power then we also have some place to actually hook it up if you want to place it like on the wall or something like that or under your desk so you can actually do so with it so we got some really nice 10 gigabit ports now of course we'll be able to use one of these for actually the household and it shows a speed indicator if we're using it so if the left led is lit and it's green it equals 10 gigabits bandwidth speed now if it's amber or orange it will only be five gigabits and if it's blinking it just means it has some activity going on with it now if the right led is lit though and it's green it's going to only be 2.5 gigabits and if it's amber it's going to be one gigabit and of course if it's blinking it's going to mean it's active but you want to make sure your left led is lit now luckily we have this hooked up this of course will be blinking on the left side only for our stream pc since it's the only device with a 10 gigabits uh, network card it is the actual power brick for this i almost dropped the nas that would have been painful uh because it would land around my toe i'm not wearing any socks right now so yeah we're just gonna hook this on up real quick so during this process just ignore the rat's nest what we have is that 2.5 gig switch right there we're just gonna literally unplug everything from it and then re-plug in everything into the 10 gig now, i will have everything i use in this video linked down below i put some socks on just in case you guys have some weirdos and take pictures of my feet i don't know there's people that really have a whole website they just take pictures of creators feet and i just don't really want my feet on the internet <laughs> so luckily this step is just super easy just take our switch take any cables that are coarse like plug that switch replug them in this one and plug it into one directly so i'm gonna leave one port open for the timing so i'm gonna use this port right here for any other devices i want to plug into it so for this i'm actually gonna take a uh, ethernet cable plug it into that switch that way we can reuse it so i'll just need to power this thing next we're good there so the switch is already working keep in mind this is the switch we want to use that goes to our stream pc that has 10 gigabit network card in it now on the left side here it is blinking green meaning that we are getting 10 gigabit to it and all the other devices are blinking green on the opposite side, meaning that right side here, they're only getting uh, 2.5, which is perfectly fine. So this device will be the other device when we have hooked up to our NAS, they'll also have 10 gig. And that way we can test it with it. The one that's still the 2.5 switch is actually going to my gaming PC, which a 2.5 network card in it, which is fine. So we're gonna do, let's take this ethernet cable, plug this in into the 2.5 switch. And then on the other end, the spare opening 
on the 10 gig so that way we can repurpose the 2.5 for any devices we want to hook up of a lower bandwidth so just plug this in like so take the opposite end plug that into the switch with that we're good to go so we now have a 10 gig switch for all our 10 gig devices then any other devices we want to use we'll go to 2.5 so what we're gonna do is do a little, a little speed test the NAST and the new networking system we just set up for our 10 gigabit ethernet. Uh, so what should happen here if we drop this seven or eight gig file into the actual NAS, it should go by really fast. Now it won't be the fastest thing in the world because I have not installed NVMe drives onto it, but even then on a 10 gigabit uh, networking, it should be pretty quick. So what we'll do is we'll drop that file in and then what we'll do here, start clock and see how long it actually takes for the file to transfer. I assume this is going to be within a few uh, seconds to be under a minute, but it was able to transfer a three gig file within a, a sh very short period of time span. So I expect this to be within 45 seconds to actually 30 seconds. Okay, it successfully uploaded the file. There we go. We see the files right here. It took a total of 48 seconds, so it went under a minute. Uh, so that's pretty good to see the 10 gig networking is working with our new NAS setup, which is awesome So we should be able to just open this up this file to actually see if it actually allows us to do anything with it So uh, if we open this we can actually see it's playing back the footage, which is awesome So it's actually working like we want to and we didn't lose any quality from the footage when transferring it So our new NAS and 10 gig networking setup is all good to go, which I'm super excited about I'm so excited to have like 10 gigabit working in the actual house Like unfortunately, I don't have 10 gigabit upload speed yet or download speed just because on the internet is only up to 2.5 but even now this is gonna be fantastic for actually nas now i will have a separate video coming out here on my actual nas i just bought so if you don't want to miss on that video definitely get subscribed but if you did find this video interesting or even helpful make sure to smash the like button i'll see you for now on tech grant out